Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 73 of Kingdoms of Amalur. So we are, yeah, I've sold off most of the stuff. Uh, I think I've sold, I've salvaged most of the stuff and then sold off some of the uh, uh, more expensive items. Crude, yeah, like anything that's crude, I will almost always uh, try to salvage that because uh, what is inside is more important for us. Uh, okay, oh, who's this guy? Wait, before we do that, uh, let us check the KO. Okay, oh, this is that's where we came in from. hard and lock picks are only available from shopkeepers or shop vendors so not from the uh, blacksmith or from uh, alchemic al alchemical guys okay a little bit more maybe Augur's robes, chakrams of the morning. What's this? Pick up Saltwell site lab notes. Laboratory facilities are in place and the arid environment proves to be an excellent preserving agent for our specimens. This promises to be an excellent site to test my theories. I only wish Fomorus shared my enthusiasm. Yeah, let's not be taking those things. Let's try the left side. Up, oh, right side. A little more. A little more. A little more. Because we go way past the equilibrium point and it's going to be hard to, to trace back. I think one more, one tad more. No, that's too much. Okay. Cavalier's necklace, crude silver and long sword. You know what? Yeah, I forgot to do this. Yeah, these looks like the same kind of setup that Fulmerus had in his lab. Okay, let's look at this. Uh, by all appearances, this gnome died some time ago in, in a rather brutal fashion. The clutch in his hands are a key and an old scrap of parchment. Yeah, 
Yeah, we don't want to be surrounded. Crude Silver Knight. Azurite Longsword. We... Huh. Let's look at the scrap of fragment. Oh, this frag uh, scrap uh, inventory. Nope, not in the items. Uh, an old town. Look for Hughes. Speak with Agarth. Yeah, I like this. The way this door it locks down. It looks really nice. Emergency supply chest. Try left. All oh, right. Yep. More. A little more, maybe a little bit more. Oh, oh, nope, too much, too much. A little more. What? The lenses are quick to attune to the subjects, and the reanimation was surprisingly simple, but none of my subjects seem to retain any semblance of their mental state, or even any consciousness at all. Suspect the problem lies in the arcane current. I'm simply not using enough power to transfer the mind along with the body. Fam uh, Formerus has voiced too many concerns with the project to be of use. I've already informed the Templar. With any luck, Fomorus will be shipped off somewhere and I can delve further into my work unimpeded. Oh, so this is some guy separate from Fomorus. And there are traps here. What? We didn't get anything out of it? Hmm. Silver Knight great swords. Oh, small Silver Knight blades. Yes, <laughs> that's so much better. We don't have to break it down. Hard unlock emergency supplies. We can use the key, right? Yeah. Hex weave shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. You know, it's not as if we can pick up experience uh, doing a locksmith. My backers have finally agreed to my request and have provided a piece of. Sistine uh, Prismere. I can't imagine what they paid for this or to whom, but the results will surely be worth the bargain. With this, I should have more than enough power for a complete transfer. If anything, there may be too much power. Must remember to stay shielded on the observation deck. Hmm. Nothing here of interest.
Wow. What a cluster of traps. Use the incinerator. Okay, let's use this. <laughs> Weak rivets. Okay. Disciple Silver Knight rallying grip. Disciples Scepter. Emergency supply key. Cool. getting careless I'm not getting careful but uh, yeah a little more I think there's still a little more to go a tad more yeah that should do it Sorcerer's Intelligence. Doors sound like, yeah, the bolts are being released one at a time.
Ring of Intensity. Reprisal? Wow, what's, what's that? Okay. Uh, let's check what that thing is. Uh, accessories, maybe? Oh, my eyes are itchy. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, was that a ring? Cavalier port plus 45 health, uh, 20 resistance. Jade band. Uh, this is the one. Oh, 15 damage range. Okay, plus <laughs> with range. This is so good. This is just fantastic. Ring of attenuation. Ring of attenuation. Two of them. Ring of intensity. With physical. Face crafted ring. Yeah, fire damage. Uh, yeah, we have this. This one a long time ago. 12% uh, fire damage. Oh, this is. Ooh. Fire damage, ice damage, lightning damage. Uh, I think that would be better than uh, this current. What are the rings we are currently wearing? Equipped is the face crafted, right? Yeah. And gives us plus this mana regen and 50 mana. This one is plus one to sorcery. How about this one? No, no. What's the other one? Not another bit. Press it. What? Oh, we already have that on. Okay, I was thinking. What am I thinking? Jade band. Okay, this is the one. Uh, fifteen percent damage with range, critical hit with range, and. 10% with range. So this is... Is it better than this? Uh, or this? Wow, we have like, in essence, 24% more elemental damage by wearing these two. So this one, however... Uh, it seems to be talking about physical damage, right? Uh, uh, no, how about, those are rings. I thought we, I thought we picked up something that, or that those are pendants. I thought we picked up, an, oh, it's an armor, I think. Uh, legs, not the legs. I think it's the sh yeah reprisal. This is the one we picked up. Uh, blocks. Oh, it needs. Ouch! It is a uh, finesse. So this is what we're currently using. Huh. Chakrams of the morning. This is. Ice damage, blaze. Disciples scepter, ice damage, uh, lightning damage. So both of these can be broken down for for ice and uh, lightning uh, dowels. So I would love to try these Fey Blades. You know, I don't know if... I don't think I used them before. So it would be, I think, uh, interesting to try them out. Okay, uh, are we headed in which direction? Oh, left. This almost looks like, oh, this is, this almost looks like uh, the same layout as uh, when we first got here. Have I been down here so long? Is the madness so great that I see the faces of the damned before me? Oh, 
<laughs> what is it really you? It is. By the tome. Come closer. Let me look at you. It has been an eternity since I've seen a trusted face. <sighs> Are you? In many ways, your awakening has brought me nothing but misery. <laughs> but that is not your fault. I am to blame for all of it. Wait. Do you hear that sound? It could be the sons of Laz, but it could be someone else. Wow, <laughs> because of the way we can constantly move it around so that uh, we can target new people. Crude silver knight. Just gold, we don't need just gold. Uh, okay, there is this one. Necklace of Okay, chakrams. Yes, we want chakrams. Why is it so rare? Huh. Okay, let's talk to Fulmers. Last we spoke, it was the Tuatha that reduced my lad to cinders. Now it's assassins. Everywhere I go, destruction follows. I have grown so weary of it, my friend. All I ever wanted was to unlock death's secrets, to shed light on the shadows. I never wanted this. Thank you. For more than just your protection, for being the one good thing to come of this disaster. I have few friends, but I gladly count you among them. I trust him with my life, which is why I've been trying to contact him since I fled Alistar, but to no avail. Where is he now that I need him most? Wait. Of course. He is the one I trust most, and the one who would benefit most from my death. I am a fool. Bok Tien is behind the assassins. And now that you and I are together, he will try to kill us both. Why did I not see this before? If he could repair the Well of Souls in Alistar, then he has no need of me. Not if he has Ventrinio. <laughs> Ventrinio de Cellini. We used to work together in this lab on projects sponsored by Templar Octien. But when we were tasked with creating the Well, Ventrinio sought to use any means at our disposal, regardless of the implications or consequences. Eventually, he was taken away. And I was sent to work at Alistar. But it seems he continued his work here. Long enough to create those monsters. They are the animated dead. Early experiments in the field of immortality. They will forever haunt these cursed caverns. Ventrinio named them after a mythical figure who rose from the dead. He looked on them and saw potential. I see only abominations. No, not me. But Ventrinio's old notes suggest that he may know a way into Alabastra. I wonder, perhaps, is it possible that you have met Ventrinio already? That would explain it. 
you were attuned to his well, but raised from mine. Unfortunately, the only way to find Ventrinio is to go through Templar Octien, which will not be easy now that we know of his treachery. Never. The only voice he wishes to hear is his own. We cannot deal with Octien within the boundaries of Edessa. Not alone. There is one who has the power to discredit him. Templar Joriel. She is reputed for her wisdom and strength of character. And, as I recall, she and Octien do not exactly see eye to eye on matters of policy. Ah. If Joriel can make Octien answer for his crimes, then we will gain access to his information. That includes the location of Ventrinio's lab. If you wish to uncover the mystery of your death, then you will need Ventrinio. He is the key to Alabastra. Find Templar Joriel in Edessa. We don't have much evidence, but I have a feeling she will help us. Oh, don't call it that. You're just having a talk with Octien in the library. In return for your discretion, he'll give us what we want. I know it's unpleasant, but when you work with the Templars, you just start thinking this way. <laughs> Okay, uh... Wait, where was the one that we saw that we can actually jump over? Okay. Okay, where does this thing oh at least back to where we came in at We got to drop on them. Okay, so we can leave this place now. To the Hallow Lands. So the Fae Blade sounds really interesting. Again, I think it uh it it's it's better than the dagger so if we're planning to use daggers maybe it's better better to do uh okay we need to get to edessa this is edessa right edessa uh what does our mission say speak with templar joriel that we will need to get information from Templar Octian in order to gain access to Alabastra. Since Octian occupies a prestigious role in Gnome society, Hughes has suggested seeking the aid of another Templar, Joriel. But it is not showing in our map. Or is it? Right? Yeah, it's not showing in our map. But apparently, so we need to get to Edessa. Okay, what if... What's the, what are our quests? The other faction qu quest, the unqu... Meet your contact, uh, the guided hands. Lock and key. Travel to Helmsgard Keep. The great generals. Helm's guard keep. Okay, and then I th 